If you would like to add a Bitmoji to your Google Classroom banner, you first need to install Bitmoji on your phone. So go to the App Store, find Bitmoji, and install it. Then you're going to want to install the Bitmoji Chrome extension on your computer. I'm going to go to alicekeeler.com slash GC header and it's going to give you a template for a Google Drawing. And this is the size that you can use for your Google Classroom header banner. I'm going to right click and choose background and I like to use a gradient. If you want a little more fun, go to background, gradient, and choose custom where you can add extra colors to make it a little bit pop out a little more. Now up in the Chrome extension shelf, you'll notice I have the Bitmoji Chrome extension. I can just find the Bitmoji that I want to use and I literally can just drag it down to the header, move it and resize it. Your other option with the Bitmoji is you can find the Bitmoji that you want, right click and choose copy image and use control V paste. Either of those will work. When you're done, do file download as PNG in Google Classroom you're going to locate your class and you select upload photo here in the corner and you'll notice that my drawing has downloaded to the download bar I can literally just drag it right into the upload and notice the cropping tool wants to crop it. So I usually move it up to the left corner and grab the bottom right corner and I stretch it out so I capture the entire image. You'll notice that it dims the banner. There is nothing you can do about it. There's some reason it has to be that way and it just is. You can send feedback to Google Classroom, but the banner is going to dim. It's also going to choose an accent color to go with it. So you'll now notice that my Google Classroom is green in the theme, and I cannot control what color it themes with the banner. 